Solar is now um, becoming very, very influential in various industries, various sectors. Inevitable. One of, one of those is the EV space. Yes. Yeah, so do you, do you see solar as a solution to, I mean, some good way we can propel that industry to go? Yeah. I mean, I was having a conversation earlier in where, where I said that based, based on the calculations that we've done, um, the energy demand projections for Ghana are roughly five times below what they are going to be. I mean, we've tried to okay. bring this to the attention of some people, but we've had some difficulty in doing so. Okay. Um, as time goes on, there will be more and more electric vehicles on the road mm -hmm. and on the roads. And um, most of these electric vehicles will have to plug in to be charged, Charge. right? Now, most people charge electric vehicles at home. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine half the cars in Ghana, electric, all plugging in at the same time yeah. to charge. Everything on the done. grid cannot take it. Take it. It's impossible. Yeah. Significant investment will have to go into the grid if they still want to continue to operate as, yeah. you know, so if, as and when that will happen, if that happens, I, it's not, it's out of my control. Yeah. But for me, I, I don't see it being, um, something we should rely on yes. governments and all that. Yes. What do entrepreneurs do? They yes. just look out for where the problem is. Exactly. We set it up and then, so yes, exactly. my view is this is a big opportunity. I mean, it's, um, it's a really huge one coming yeah. because once the gap is there, yes. why not? I mean, so the, I mean, all that is left, or what will what will in inevitably happen will now be people would have ha to have their solar panels at home and charge their vehicles at home from their panels. That means most of these um, charging companies they have to consider setting up solar rather than going on, on the grid. Right. And Dyson is in business. We are in business. <laughs> yeah. listen, give us a call. We, we, we have a, we have a special project for EVs. Good. Um, we, we, we have a close relationship with Tesla and they produce the best charges you can get on the market Okay. in the world. Um, BT, uh, uh, BT, BP, okay. <laughs> UK. <laughs> so BP are now partnering with Tesla to okay. store their charging. Mm -hmm. As the quality of the level oh. of charge. So, I, I, you, are have. you um, are you setting this up, or are you selling the charges, or are you? So we, like I said, we are installer okay. supplier. Um, yeah. We do everything. So you have those charges in stock. We have them in stock. We can get them in stock. Okay. Um, depending on needs as as and when the demand is there. Okay. So we we are prepared to move the infrastructure and particularly within the energy space, as far as we can move it. Viewers, for anything solar, just get to Michael. Dicing is ready for you, right? We are. Yes. And I'm excited about the fact that you're ready to put that footing in whatever industry is open, especially in the EV space. Yeah. Really interesting on that. So I think the, the, the EV space and the solar space will have to go hand in hand. It's, it's just an inevitable process mm -hmm. because if you look at the, the charging stations that are being set up in Europe currently. Yeah. Most of them. Most of them are solar, solar powered. They are, yeah. they are solar powered with large batteries on site. Mm -hmm. So think Let's about. Have this then. Yeah. So think about the finish station where the fuel is generated on site mm -hmm. and no tankers driving mm -hmm. around. There's no, you know, no pipeline. There's no refinery it isn't mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. it's 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 a it's an excellent process so and she eating well to the whole environment convo here and yeah and it, it reduces greenhouse gases across the board yeah um so for for companies that are currently in the oil and gas space i i, I always recommend i was like if you guys are aware of the situation then you need to start um diversifying Mm -hmm. Some kind as, of transition. Yes, making a transition mm -hmm. as soon as possible before it's too late. 
because I guess the oil and gas industry is almost like uh, being on a plane that everybody knows is going to crash, but nobody knows when. But do you think it's going to crash completely? No, you see, you never know. This is the point. Everyone knows yeah. that there's going to be a reduction in demand, but nobody knows when, how soon, you how have, long. Personally, I think it was Africa. Yes. And for us, we survive on fossil. So definitely we'll have to go hand in hand. And that's... 100%. And, then, and, and that's where we're going. But... I mean, why not? It's, it's always better to put your foot forward. Exactly. So, so we, we still, let's, still take that. I, I always say nobody knows the future. I could be completely wrong and, you know, oil and gas could be... But no, why not for no, fair? Nobody buys an electric car in Ghana. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, I have no idea about... But looking at it logically, we just had a conversation about electric vehicles. Mm-hmm. If you're an oil and gas, oil and gas, and there's a big uptake in electric vehicles, by all means, there'll be a reduction in demand okay. for oil. Now, how do you bridge that? How do you bridge that reduction in demand, right? You put your feet where you think the demand is going that? to grow. So we try to give, you know, we, we, we consult for some, some companies regarding okay. how best they can develop and grow and what to look out for and what's coming and, you know, how to, you know, there was a time when Netflix went to Blockbuster to tell them that <laughs> the model is changing. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Invest in us. I think so you have one foot. In, in the new world. In the new world. And... Blockbuster said, no, we're king. Blockbuster said, no, we're king, we're dominant. And today the story is very different. And that story... I mean, it's, I, I think it's repeated across... Yes, just yesterday I was reading about Kodak. I was just... Sad. Kodak. Yeah. You no, know, Kodak had experienced it. Motorola. Nokia has Nokia. got it. <laughs> Blackberry got Blackberry. it. Yeah. The story so. goes on. So I, mm-hmm. I, I, I tell I tell the MDs I talk to, the commissioners, the all the top guys I speak yeah. to, I explain yeah. to them that look, That's I don't know the future, okay. but you have to look at the trend. Now, do you want to take the risk and go the way of these guys? Wait till yeah. Or do you want to hedge your bets? Invest in comp- companies like us, yeah, and, and grow with the market, yeah, and be prepared for tomorrow. Um, you don't lose anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In fact, you gain a t- tremendous amount I financially. Think, I, I think that's with that, I, I do agree with you. It's it's business, right, for them. Yeah. So, as far as business is concerned, it's smart business. Mm-hmm. Henry Ford said that if he had people what they wanted, they would have said, we need faster F- horses. <laughs> faster horses. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's very true. So, yeah, I mean, so. We, 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 we do our best in the system because, um, unfortunately, the system we have isn't the easiest system. <laughs> but it still has to be a system that moves forward in the right direction. Mm-hmm. If we have to drag the people in charge and... I guess set up and the makeup of people who control the way things are k- kicking and screaming in the right yeah. direction. It's all it's, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. If as long as long as the outcome is beneficial to, mm-hmm. to Ghanaians, when, I'm I'm happy. I mean, I, I like that, and societal impact is important. Very important for whatever business that we do. Very very, very important. Yeah. So I'm 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 happy you care about that. Power so. to people. <laughs> Yes, we'd encourage you to do more and more on that. Thank you. Okay, so before we let you go, what would you have for my viewers? People that are interested in your industry, they don't know how. They don't even get it, you know. So, so what, what do you have for us? So the first thing I would say is I want to apologize because I know um, prior to companies like myself setting up, they were uh, cowboys, as you say, uh, people who weren't licensed professionals, who weren't good at the craft of solar installation, who sold dreams to people and unrealistic, never, one. unrealistic we never came to fruition. So uh, what we find is that there's almost a, uh, there's a negative image of solar in some cases. Oh, you yeah. can't do that or you can't do this. And because of the experiences that they've had, so I want to apologize. The real people are here now. Yeah. Right? So believe in solar because it's the future. It's, it's uh, 
energy independence is very important, not just for, you know, for it's not just for you, for your fa- it's for your family, for your business. And, you know, let's say Africa cannot develop in the dark. Yeah. Uh, a very, very intelligent woman said that, mm-hmm. right? And this is your, this is the ticket to move Africa in the direction of the development that's going to benefit every single Ghanaian. Okay. So believe in solar, trust in solar. And uh, and work with us, because at the end of the day, when we say power to the people, we mean it. We don't just say it as a... How do we get to work with you? That's something my viewers are very interested in. So bring us, you know, we, we consult, you know, we we have, uh, we train people as well to try get, get oh, engineers, to, right. we get engineers into the, 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 the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, we give advice. You know, we we do everything we can. You know, we have products just on solar lights, for instance. One of our one of our best selling products. We do solar lights. We do solar generators. So what what do you mean by solar light? So it's a solar street light. So oh. at, at night time, these are lights that have batteries built into them, mm-hmm. whereby they charge up during the day when nobody needs outside lights, mm-hmm. and at night time, mm-hmm. they come on. So they have uh, a 12 to 18 hour window. So even when, you know, when it gets really dark, you know. It just comes on. It comes on. Even when it's about to rain, you know, sometimes when it's about to rain, yeah. it, gets, it comes on then, you know. And what that does is it takes pressure, aside from the security benefit, when there's light off, as where a lot of people have, you know, issues, robberies, break-ins. But we are, it's not connected to the grid, it's independent. It never so goes so down. That on. It's it's automated. It comes on automatically. It goes off automatically. Mm-hmm. So that's an excellent product. We we find lots of filling stations uh, to take up um, our solar street lights. Okay. Um, a lot of developments are now taking up solar street lights. Uh, we tried to work with the government mm-hmm. to provide. So you know, uh, there's the Tema motorway, which is very dark, very dangerous road. We're trying to reach out to the government to say, look. Why don't we, you know, collaborate on installing some solar street lights here to, you know, reduce accidents on the road yeah. to improve? That would really help. Um, we noticed that uh, this is these solar street lights, for instance. We we work very closely with a Chinese manufacturer to design them purposely to work in Ghana. You, you should bring your manufacturing to Ghana over time. We will, but we'll be a big on that. Are you always interested in how? One hundred percent. How do we? Yeah, completely agree. Let's make the job. Yeah. The 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 idea behind what we are doing is to build a relationship with the skill base, which currently sits in Ghana. We don't have the skills in in it sits in China. Sorry, we don't have the skills in Ghana currently to be able to pull off something like that. Yeah. So you now what tends to happen in the world really in terms of manufacturing as a whole started in Europe. They moved to America, mm-hmm. they moved to China, and I believe the next hub is, right, is in yeah. Africa. Well, how that tends to work first by building relationship. Okay. Right? It's, yeah. It, so it, we are now made to do relationships right. with the Chinese companies because they have this skill. Mm-hmm. Eventually, as demand increases, then they move to start. To so start. Dyson has those plants. These are the plants that we have in place. Okay. Right, they moved okay. to Ghana, and then now, what happens when you have uh, the manufacturing hubs moving from China to places like Ghana? Mm-hmm. You start hiring local workers. They start getting the training they need, That's the it. skills you need to manufacture lights. Those skills now become transferable. You can now maybe manufacture instead of just lights. You're not much manufacturing things like electric cars, and then, so it's transferable skills, right? So these are things that we're working on. You know, so yeah, the, there's another product that we're we're working closely to bring as well. We have, call solar generators. Mm-hmm. So these would be excellent for people who are in the the kiosks and uh, so it's 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 basically like a it's a large suitcase that you can plug your phone, your TV, your fridge. You can take it all, everything, and 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 it, can, it, it runs all those very easily, and you can plug your panels just straight into. It's a very simple. A very effective wow. product. Michael. So we do our best. You're doing amazing. Thank you very much. We we, we can do more still, but 
we've come a long way. Certainly, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think you're doing amazing. Thank you. I mean, we, we love young people <laughs> and she really send us much in the energy sector. So thank, thank you so, so much you're welcome. for making time to join Energy Plus. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Uh, nice to uh, meet you. Mm, very Stop. nice as well here. Okay. So viewers, this is what we do on Energy Quest. We demystify the energy sector and add value. Till we meet again. Ciao.